So it is the morning, I've just woken up and Konami have dropped us a brand new maintenance with inside it. A brand new Structure Deck EX Stardust Nexus with a brand new Altar Stardust and the KCGT Celebration campaign with Shooting Star Dragon in it, which uh, I predicted, put it out there, it's happening. Let's take a look and see what's happening and uh, what brand new cards and reprints we can get in the deck. Let's take a look. So of course if you do enjoy these videos leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Duel Links leaks, news, updates, all that kind of thing. We like to do this kind of early on the channel, get out, get news out there, get it out quickest, that kind of thing. So first of all we do have some uh, campaigns going on. The 50% uh, off gem sale is coming back for the uh, the KCGT celebration which means free to play players are going to like it. But let's go on to the structure deck and this is your list of cards basically. Um, you're getting a Junk Synchron reprint, you're getting a Quick Draw Synchron reprint, a bunch of other reprints, some other new cards. Stardust Dragon Altar from Dual Power, which is really nice. Uh, we're getting another new card here, a Junk Warrior reprint, a Junk Archer reprint, and your Turbo Warrior reprint. So, as a Structure Deck like EX, I don't think it's all that good, honestly. I feel like it's kind of mediocre, but we'll read the cards, see what they do, and hopefully there's a change there. But also you can't forget we're getting Shooting Star Dragon and also apparently we've got a brand new animation and we're getting a brand new skill for this card to work with the deck. So there'll be a brand new skill that comes out with, you know, you can see it here in the, uh, where is it? In the, the Dream Ticket, you know, in the here. We're getting a brand new skill right here. If you're saying where's Dream Tickets, usually in these images they don't include Dream Tickets because they have their own screen. So that's why they're not here, but I would assume we're still getting some. Otherwise, it's kind of bad at Konami's part. But we're getting a brand new skill called Shooting Star Road. Don't know what it does yet. If, if you know, if we got it by the time this video comes out, it'll be on screen right now. Yeah, that should be supporting this card, you know, being summonable in the deck. So, first of all, our brand new Synchro Formula Synchron, which you'll notice that these cards have been available via this skill for a while now. And uh, it is just cool to have outside the skill. So, it is a level 2 tuner, Synchro. Requires one tuner, one on one tuner, so a 1 and a 1. When this card is synchro summoned, you can draw one card. It's not bad, and once per chain during your opponent's main phase, you can, quick effect, immediately synchro summon with this card. So it's basically like the TG guys, the Star Guardian, the Hyper Librarian, the Hyper Librarian, the, uh, the Wonder Magician. It's pretty much that. So, uh, cool. It's used to go into shooting Star Dragon from Stardust Dragon, which is kind of your main use. And I, I hope the new skill is good, right? For this, I hope it's good. Then we're getting Junk Converter, a brand new Super Rare Belief. I think so. It makes sense. Level 2, you could discard this card and one tuner to add one Synchron Monster from your deck to your hand. So it's kind of like tuning, but another copy. So you could technically have six copies and then ditch things to the graveyard. But also, getting this in the graveyard means you can summon it back with things like Junk Synchron. So you search Junk Synchron, summon it, get your level 2 out. There's your 5 for Junk War. I'm sure there's better plays you can do, but... There's one of them. And if it's kind of sent to the graveyard as a secret material, you can target one tuner in the graveyard, especially in defense mode, but it can't activate its effects. So you can go into your uh, into your junk warrior, then bring back your junk synchron to go into Stardust Dragon. That's pretty cool. And I'm sure again you can do things to make it easy to go into shooting Star Dragon or bigger synchros, but that's kind of the main purpose of junk converters to kind of go from junk warrior into Stardust. Not too bad. We're also getting mono synchron, which I believe is gonna be a rare, it kind of feels that way. It's a level 1 tuner, 0 attack defense, when it's cards using single material, the other monsters must be level 4 lower warrior monsters, and they're treated as level 1. So, that's a very easy way of getting into your formula synchron, it's searchable by tuning, it's searchable by junk converter, not too bad there, but no, I'm not too sure if you use this, right? Like, I'm not too sure how good this combo is going to be, you have to wait and see what other cards we're going to be getting, you know, if it synergizes with the main box at all, the mini box at all, with anything else, the door links. And finally for new cards, we have Synchro Chase, a brand new spell card that is not bad. Your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to the activation of your Synchro monsters with Warrior, Synchron or Stardust in their original names. So you say deck entirely, it's just like, hey, you can't respond, it's pretty cool. And if you Synchro summon a Warrior, Synchron or Stardust Synchro monster, you could target monster in your graveyard using material and spec it in defense mode. So you could, again, go and get the Synchro back, the Synchron back, sorry. So again, if you're going for Junk Warrior, you could then get the Synchron back, go to Stars Dragon, or if you have both of them, if you have both Chase and Converter, then that's going to get you both materials back on board. 
which means you're going to have enough to go into an even bigger synchro, like a level 10 potentially. That's kind of funky. Again, we don't know how this is going to do. We don't know the skills. I have a ping on Discord. Let's see if it's anything good. Uh, probably not. No, there's not. But we do have the leaked skill for the Shooting Star Rogue, which has been translated from Japanese. So it might be a little bit wrong, but dual starts with one junk converter in the graveyard. So you're going to be getting this boy in the graveyard, which is fine. Just a free material in the graveyard. Cool. And also, if there's Star Dragon on the field, you put one copy of Form of Synchron, Mouse Deck onto the field. So immediately getting your access to Shooting Star Dragon, I guess. And if you put monster on the field with this skill, you could only special the extra deck until you end your opponent's next turn. So I assume that just means you can't do any further combos, which makes a ton of sense, really. They kind of want you to go into Shooting Star Dragon very easily. And this skill can kind of do that. But this skill is only used with a dual start with a deck with eight or more junk or synchron tuners and an extra deck with four or more junk synchron status monsters. But that's fine, right? Because that means that any junk synchron normal summon is a shooting star dragon. Assuming no interruptions, that's really big. If this is how it works, right? If that's how this works, then that's a very, very big skill and uh, is kind of fun for getting that, you know, for getting shooting star dragon out. That's not bad at all. I quite like that. So, so far from the leaks, it seems like the box, the, you know, the, the deck is okay, right? I don't think it's going to massively shake up the meta. It's an EX. We kind of expected it would have, you know, if it's an EX, you would have hoped it would, but I don't think it will. This card's pretty cool, though, getting multiple attacks in. That's fine. But these are your brand new cards for the box. Let me know down below what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.